This video is about the name range. In this video, I am going to talk about the name range. As you will see, we have got this table. On the one side, we have got the TV, fridge, gas, washing, and the other side, we have got the America, Europe, Asia. This is the sales figure of the worldwide for the commodities like TV, fridge, car, and washing machines. And if you see, we have going to define the formula. We are going to give the name, the range. Now I am going to select this thing, and I am going to going to say define name, and I am going to say uh, going to select only for this worksheet. This worksheet is worksheet two, and I am going to select OK, and then I am going to select this one. It has picked up the name from the front of it, as you can see. Is again going to pick it up from there, and again I am going to not going to say workbook this time because I just want to use it for this sheet. So I am going to say sheet two, and again I am going to do the same thing here, and I am going to say define the name, and this time again I am going to say the sheet two, and as you can see, this is how you define the name, and you can see this is sheet two, okay, and now I am going to define it from the up to the bottom, and I am going to say define. And this is again the sheet two, and again I am going to say define name. Again I am going to say sheet two, and I am going to say again define. Again going to be find name, and it's going to be sheet two. And I am going to click OK, and this is what is done. Now I for I want to going to sum it up, so I am going to say sum. And I'm going to press the F5 button, F5, and I can see there is sort of what you call range available. As you can see, there are lot of this thing available. I am going to select the America, or I'm going to select the TV. This time, I'm going to select the TV, or I can also as do like that. I can go and select this one, and it will always select the TV. Automatically, and the same thing I can do to the others. Submit, move it, and you can see it automatically creates the same name. Submit. Now, actually, what we are using is the And the same thing we can do with the upper part also. If I copy, try to copy it, just see what happens. It actually uses because it's the name range. It will copy the same thing, so you cannot do that thing. So because it is using the name range, the when you name name a range, it is consistent to that range. So that's why it doesn't move. With the cells, as you would be doing in the normal copy, it is it is just like a fixed reference, not like a relative reference. Okay, here it is. Now, if I sum this thing or if I sum this thing, it should be the same thing. Sum. I can select this thing, and it is going to be the same. Sum. Okay, now I've got the this thing. Now I can take if I want. I can use the average to do the same thing. What I did it. I can type the TV also directly. I can press F5 and type the TV directly into it, or I can use this way. Whatever is way is suitable to you. Ah, uh, sorry. I think so. This was right. And this is average. This is what you do it, and this is how you have used the name range. Good part of the name range is that you can actually move the cells, and it will not affect it at all. As you can see, in this case. 
that's the good thing about the name range if I could have said the worksheet then in the range the name range would have been available from uh, if I were choosing the workbook then the name range would have been available all over the workbook but in this case I have actually done it only for this sheet so it's going to be only for this sheet now suppose if I wanted to create a graph I would select this thing this range and I will say because I do not want the sum I am going to say uh, graph and I can say graph and you can see that the graph has been created and you can move the graph to the side and you will see let's play with the graph something to find out more about the graph okay now here it is we can choose something like that now this has become more beautiful and if you want you can use this one now the good part is that you can see that the TV fridge cars and this thing is looking good very good but the problem is that it is showing you with the Asia America this thing is going showing you with the description like this but suppose if you wanted to actually have the America and Asia and America by the bottom and TV and fridge car washing machine on the other side you can select the switch row and column and it will do the job for you the other thing is that you can also use it to select data and you can switch row and column and it will still do the same thing as you can see now you can select the chart types depending upon what you want and you will be seeing a different types of data as you will and you can see the other thing the good thing about is that you have seen that this thing now you can actually choose a layout if you want it what type of layout you want and other things let's check one more type and you will see this is what it is and we have a different types of chart and you can change the chart title by double clicking it and you can type the chart name here you can remove and type whatever maybe sales now the thing as you see I have got this chart here I can actually go to the layout and you will see there is a 3D rotation before 3D rotation let me change the type of the graph chart type I will change it to something more actually that can be have some fun with it ok now I have this thing and you can see I will go to the layout and I will go to 3D rotation now in 3D rotation I can actually move the graph as you will be seeing as you are seeing that I am moving the graph can you see you can always move by the y axis also depending upon how you wanted to move it and the same thing you can do it moving it other way other way and so and so forth you can always reset it that's not a problem with the other thing and you can have the other things like shadows and other things you want and other things as you would like to have it but maybe some things do not have the effect on this thing and something have the effects only on the border that's what is actually 3d rotation is then these are uh, already I have talked about whatever these things are I would not be talking about this thing let's go to the format this is done this is done okay you can use this thing on the shapes and other things right now I am not going to this is the basically the chart is and you can select from this classic layout whatever different type of layout you wanted that is it and suppose if you wanted to create a pie graph you could actually select the range for the pie graph like this and drag it this one and you could say insert and you could say spy and you could have a pie graph depending upon what the sales is for the three region the total sales or if you wanted it for average you could have gone for the TV and fridge also this way so this is what exactly it is this is what you should be doing that's all thank you very much for watching